good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast on February 25, Chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Kabraman, will hold an online conference on the general situation of Western Armenia. In the year of an office of Western Armenia, a number of citizens were handed passports of Western Armenia. The Ombudsman of Armenia and Artsakh issued a joint statement. The inhabitants of Chartar continue to build firmly on their own land. A Turkish newspaper called 10 Regions of Russia, Turkic Republics. Historical sources of Karin are being restored. On this day, in 1878, the Treaty of San Stefano was signed. This year's book giving day is dedicated to the 125th anniversary of the birth of Yerushe Charens. On February 25, at 8 p.m. Yerevan time and 11 p.m. French time, an online conference will be held under the motto 157th anniversary of the commander Andranik Ozanyan in Armenian. The main topic of the forum is the 157th anniversary of the birth of the leader of Armenian liberation movement, Fidei Zoravar Andranik Ozanyan. During the forum, the activities of the commander will be touched upon and his role in the cause of the Armenian liberation movement, the absence of which is felt in the current situation will be noted. Certain solutions to the issue of resolving the situation will be offered. To participate, you can register at the following link on our official website. The ceremony of awarding passports and medals were held at the Yerevan Office of Republic of Western Armenia. The opening speech at the event was given to the President of Western Armenia, Armena Abraman. President Abraman presented the Order of the Armenian Legion of Western Armenia to the soldier of First Artsakh War, Kur Mihir Haikazun, Kazar Sarksyan, to his services for the motherland. A number of citizens, including journalists, politicians, and former Asala fighter Alek Yeni Gomshan, received passports of Western Armenia. Human rights defenders of Armenia and Artsakh, Arman Tazoyan and Geram Stepanyan, made a joint statement. We present parts from the statement. The Azerbaijani authorities have always pursued a policy of isolating Artsakh from the outside world, hiding war crimes against a world that violate human rights and falsifying facts. The message of targeting Armenia and Artsakh, as well as international public figures, experts and journalists, their blackmail and persecution in the so-called blacklist, best demonstrate that the cause and statements of Azerbaijani authorities for peace are actually false and have the purpose of hiding the true intentions. It is the Azerbaijani government that bears direct responsibility for war crimes and the crimes against humanity. We strongly inform the international community that the Azerbaijani authorities will continue falsifying facts and misleading the new method. The main direction of employment of residents of the city of Chartar in the Martinur region of the Republic of Artsakh is agriculture, cattle breeding and agriculture. This was stated by the mayor of Chartar, Vladik Hovanisyan. According to him, about 75 hectares of agricultural land remained in the possession of the enemy, but this did not prevent residents from continuing their activity. After the war, 47 families settled here. We have four operating schools where a total of 560 students attend and two kindergarten, each have 85 pupils. There are three celebration halls, a hospital and an art school, and a sport and culture palace in the city. All of them carry out normal activities, noted Hovanisyan. Pan-Turkism and anti-Russian sentiments continue to spread in the Turkish press. This time, the Turkish newspaper Karar published an analytical publication in which 10 districts of the Russian Federation were called Turking Autonomous Republics. We want to remind you that the leader of nationalist movement, Party Devlet Bahçeli, presenting the political wing of the Turkish extremist organization, Grey Wolves, presented Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan with a map of the Turkic world, including a number of Turkic regions of Russia. The historical springs located on the territory of Karim province of Western Armenia, which used to be a place for rest for numerous travelers, are now being restored by the efforts of the mayor's office. On this occasion, the mayor of Karim said, in Karim about 200 historical springs and a fountain remained as a legacy from our ancestors. Of course, the number of these sources was greater until recently. We have implemented an important project to leave them without harm to future generations. For this project, we have created a special working team team for our sources in need of restoration. Restoration work is already being completed, in which scientific staff were also included. 
On February 19, 1878, a preliminary peace treaty was concluded between Russia and the Ottoman Empire in the suburb of Konstantinopol in San Stefano, which ended the Russian-Turkish War of 1877-1878. The Treaty of San Stefano was of great importance in the liberation of Balkan peoples from the Turkish yoke and the appearance of the Armenian issue international diplomacy. The provisions of the treaty were revised in a document adopted following the Berlin Congress. The agreement was signed by Koms Nikolai Ignatiev and Alexander Nedidov from Russia, from Turkey's South Sed, Pasha and Sedula Bay. The San Stefano Treaty guaranteed the fulfillment of the obligations assumed by Turkey, namely to immediately implement improvements and reforms arising for the local needs of the Armenian populated areas. A special Article 16 provided for the implementation of administrative reforms reforms in Western Armenia as Armenia. This year, Hovhannes Tumanyan's birthday, the Book Giving Day, is dedicated to the 125th anniversary of the birth of Yerushe Charens. On the day of the book donation, February 19, the presentation of the book, the book is a birthday gift, exhibition entitled Charens Tumanyan. During the exhibition, Art Lovell will get acquainted with the book relics of two great Armenian poets, Yerushe Charens and Hovhannes Tumanyan, stored in personal libraries with appropriate gifts, joining their friendship, interesting episodes of life as well as the exceptional role of book culture. Various exhibitions and events dedicated to the 125th anniversary of the great Armenian poet and singer will also be organized in other museums and libraries of Armenia. Now the musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.